Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Um, you're looking at an advertisement from the October 1997 edition of Shortwave magazine. So 25 years old. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because this is an advertisement for Howes Communications. And in, in this advertisement down in the corner here is a CTU9 antenna matching unit. So back in 97, 25 years ago, uh, the CTU9 was 70 quid factory built or the kit for 40 quid. Um, now I've got one of these. It was given to me by someone at the club. It was part of a pile of equipment from uh, a silent key sale, unfortunately. And um, I think he thought that no one else was going to use it. I was the only person in the club who he imagined would use such a thing because I'm really the only other per the only person in Harwell ARS that does a lot of shortwave listening. Nobody else does really. Um, so I was very grateful to him for giving me one of these units. I've just looked on eBay actually. And um, there you go. There's one for sale for 150 quid. So game on. Um, so 25 years old, but who cares? And here it is. Um, it has appeared actually in a couple of other videos that I've done recently, but I'm not sure that I've mentioned it specifically. Um, so there you go, there it is. Now, this unit is good for matching um, unbalanced and balanced uh, antennas to it. So there's um, banana plug sockets effectively for a balanced pair, for a, tw for a twin feeder, for a dipole, or unbalanced single wire coaxial cable, etc. You can attach an earth to it. Um, it's just a plastic box. Um, I did actually take it apart earlier because the rear panel, uh, which I can't really show you. Uh, actually, yes, I can. Uh, I can just about show you. The rear panel here was being, was being, was pushed in. Um, it sits in a slot uh, from the sides and the back and the top, and it had kind of come out. So um, I took it apart just to basically reposition the rear panel because it just made it very difficult to... Um, to attach any connections to it so um so there it is and now i've had it a few months never got around to using it until a couple of days ago um and i thought it would be worthy of a quick mention um uh, on the channel so uh handily it's um obviously it's receive only so uh, don't try and transmit through one of these um you'll damage it probably permanently um so it has suggested settings here for the uh, uh, inductance and the antenna and receive um, uh, capacitor, variable capacitors uh, for 50 ohm load by, by band. And of course, if you remember, these matching units are designed to remove the reactance from an antenna circuit and just, and just leave you with a resistive load. So just to demonstrate how this works, or um, I've got radio clube de para, 4885 kilohertz tuned up on my JRC NRD 525 and, um, and and the antenna I'm using is my NFED wire that I use for my amateur radio stuff um, straight into this box. Um, now it recommends the inductor being set at E and then antenna and receiver variable caps set to about six. So Let's give it a whirl. So there we go. So, uh, by the way, um, some of you will remember that um, when I have been doing videos for the channel with the with the JRC, that the um, the numbers on the display would kind of like scroll across, disappear, and then reappear. It ha it turned out to be the lamp that I was using, the light, um, uh, affecting the, the well interfering with the refresh rate i guess on the display so now i've used, i've changed my desk lamp and um, there's no problem at all so radio clube de para belain northern brazil there's some more there is some modulation there so let's
So there you go. It uh, works pretty well, actually. Um, only good down to 500 kilohertz, so um, it doesn't uh, allow you to match anything on long wave. But just as an example, if I go to long wave, nothing or very little, obviously because it's not matched at all. But handily, it's got a bypass switch which allows you then to just use the entire, uh, just to use the antenna um, uh, bare. So there you go. So there you go. CTU9 by Howes, um, 25 years old, but still working uh, perfectly well. So uh, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, it's, it is interesting, actually. I've been trying to record a signal from Iceland on long wave. Um, they broadcast on 189 kilohertz and 207 kilohertz, either side of the huge uh, BBC Radio 4 signal from Droitwich. Um, and we had been struggling with my Welbrook loop, out, which is outdoors for a while, a um, few days. And then um, I switched over to this antenna and copied a really nice, well, not a really nice signal, but a perfectly copyable signal on 189 kilohertz um, immediately. So um, there is something to be said for being able to um, match uh, an unbalanced wire um, for shortwave, but also to have the facility to bypass it when you want to get when you want to listen to signals um, with a much uh, longer wavelength than uh, you know that's outside of the cap the you know the the capability of uh, of this particular matching unit. So, um, but there you go. I hope that was interesting. Uh, it was interesting for me because this has sat on my bench now for quite a long time, and I'm glad I finally got around to using it and thought I'd share it with you. So, uh, so there you go. Um, if you only use a wire. Um, have a think about buying one of these or something similar to this because it does make a difference if you can uh, match uh, the wire uh, to allow the receiver to uh, see uh, 50 ohms. Okay, well, all the best and 73.